All right, this one's going to be on a front end for cron if you're using KDE, all right? So after you install it, it should be in your system settings. And it's just called task scheduler. So if you've never used cron before, it's basically a way to um you know, make your script or your command run at an interval or at a time of your choosing, okay? So if you want to add a new one, you just go add uh, or new task here and you type in your command whatever it does like maybe say echo hello or something like that or if you've written your own script you can actually just you know browse through the script and put it in there um, you can type a comment for this so this one what does this command do this command uh, says hello that's all um, and other stuff that they do have is if you want to do you know, at reboot or at boot, or whatever. We can do like every day, um, but we'll clear it here. If you want to do like manually, like oh, I want to choose every 30 minutes. They do have some predefined ones, or you can go custom selection. But that's just um, other stuff you can do there. Or you can just manually point and click. Let's say I want 10 minutes, 50 minutes uh, at uh, maybe 5 a.m on Wednesday and I want it like uh, year round so I want all of them all right and you hit OK so you don't have to know like how to do it from the command line if you really want to know how to do it from the command line then you can actually look at this for reference right so it says 10 50 5 star star 3 um, and if you want to read like a humans do you can see that it says right here that at 5 10 and 550 every Wednesday it'll run this command or the script that you have right and the description is what we wrote earlier this command says hello uh, so that's pretty much it that's how you would you know use cron from this GUI here now like I said they have the personal cron which is your user level and they do have their uh, system cron which is your root level it says root right here right uh, when do you know or when do you need to use it from here? Basically, if your command or your script requires, you know, for you to type in your password, then you want to put it in here. Obviously, this is graded out, but you can actually, um, you know, go to uh, the root level and then you can add it yourself. I'll show you that in a minute. But other stuff you, that you can do in here is you can add variables. So you can add like new variables. Some of which this are like kind of common here if you want to do that. But anyways, let's go back to um, how to do this from the the root level. Or discard that. We don't want to save it, right? But uh, all you gotta do is bust out your um, you know your terminal or whatever, and type in sudo. Uh, on KD, it's just called system. What was it called? Oh no, system. I mean, not sets. System settings there you go All right you run this sucker and now we go back to task scheduler and you should have the uh, system cron here and here you can add you know your script or whatever it is that uh, you want to add in here that requires you to have your password alright like maybe you say I want to do updates or whatever you know then you can put the script in here or your commands in here um, and that's pretty much it. That's the only difference between the personal one and the and uh, the system one is one requires your password, the other one doesn't require anything, right? Anyways, that's it for um, this GUI front end. It used to be called Cron or not Cron. It's called KCron, but now they just um, have a different name for it. What's it called now? So aptitude search. Um. KD Fig Cron, I think this is called. Yeah, this is the one, right? So this is the one you want to install, and it's just a uh, program scheduler front end, which is Cron. Uh, so that's be it for this one. If you want to use the GUI uh, for Cron.